Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Alga at Catch and Associates, and this video's MarTech tip will be covering how to create a new form handler in the Salesforce Pardot platform. Keep in mind that a form handler is not directly customer facing and is strictly set up to receive data from an existing web form. With that, let's go ahead and get started. You'll need to navigate to Marketing, Forms, Form Handlers, which will bring you to this page. You then want to click Add Form Handler and begin by filling out the basic form details, including name, based off your organization's naming convention. You want to select a folder in which your form handler will reside and add any tags that you currently use to organize your assets. You'll also need to select the campaign that these form submissions should be associated to. Lastly, for this section, you'll need to set the success and error locations for the form. These would be the URLs that an individual gets redirected to upon a successful or unsuccessful form submission. Typically, these will be handled by your front end web form, but if you rely on Pardot for this, you can change the value from referring URL to a specific URL. It's also worth noting that if the data from the form is being forwarded to another service, you can enable data forwarding to the, to the success location. The next section is where you can add any completion actions that are needed. These are the actions that get triggered when someone successfully completes the form. Some examples include adjusting the score, notifying an assigned user, or sending an autoresponder email. Next, you'll need to add and map any fields from your customer-facing web form. You'll want to simply add a new field, enter in the external name of the field. This is the HTML name of the field on your web form. You'll want to align it to the corresponding prospect field and map it and select whether or not the field is required and save your changes. You wanna repeat this step for any additional fields on your form. With that, go ahead and select Create Form Handler. After you've created your form, you'll want to integrate it with your external form. In order to do that, you'll want to click View Form Handler Code and copy and paste this string and provide it to your web team. This will ensure that your web form now posts to your newly created Pardot form handler. Okay, that wraps up this video on how to create a form handler in the Pardot platform. We've included links to more info and formal documentation on the Salesforce Pardot platform in the description below. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the like button and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. Consider clicking on the bell to stay up to date on the latest videos from our team. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time with another MarTech tip.